Hello, good evening, everyone. Tim Davis here, and I wanted to um, stop by and record a real quick video for all my family and friends who follow me. And um, today is Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. And I want to call this a midweek market update. And the title of this will be The Next Leg Down. So I've been harping on this all year long for the past year. I'm actually for the past year and definitely beginning of this year that the market was starting to show a um, overall reversal pattern to the downside. And I gave our warnings that once we started breaking below major moving averages, then we could start to see um, a continuation of um, the rallies that we see within this market continue to be um, sold off. Hence, which is what um, is we're in the midst of right now. So uh, the market got oversold over the past, uh, I guess, a couple of weeks or so, uh, sparking a bear market rally, which we um, pretty much got here recently. It looks like that quick rally is about to come to an end, and it's like the downward movement, the overall market is about to resume. I'm going to start off by highlighting this tool that I like to use, which tracks the percentage of S&P 500 companies that are trading above their 200-day moving average. And for those who've been following me for a while, you know I pointed out a while ago that this is already it's, this has been in a downtrend for quite some time, and um, and it kind of, it kind of the setup for this is just like the um, regular markets. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that is that if you look at the overall movement here. This is a daily chart. And what I'm going to point out is that this red line on top now is my 200 day moving average on this daily. So look at price action is, has remained below the 200 day moving average. Even in this little quick rally here, price failed to get back up to that 200 day. So we've been below the 200 day moving average on this tool for quite some time. That doesn't look like it's ready to give up. So we um, got to oversold levels. Look at the RSI, the RSI dip well down below the 30 level, came back up a little bit. Look like it's starting to turn back over right now. Um, full stochastic is like it's ready to possibly turn back over and the winners percentage made it back up to the overbought level and it's like it's starting to turn down. So that's food for thought to give you some type of insight that we could be ready for the next leg down. Also price action, um, when it got oversold or the percentages, when it got oversold, Percentages made it back up to the 20 day moving average. And it's like that is where the percentages um, ran into resistance right at their 20 day. And it's like it's starting to reverse. So, for those who've been following me for a while, let me show you guys some history on this particular tool. Stand by one second, folks. Again, once we made it um, back up to this level, so we're starting to reverse. Now, let me show you guys some history on this particular tool. So here's the monthly chart on this tool. And the highest we have gotten over the past year and a half was up to 97%. That means 97% of stock were trading above their 200 the moving average, but that was well back in 2021 around April. Since then, we've been trend trending downward. And notice how the moving average is starting to converge. On this monthly chart, we have the 20-day uh, that's still above the 50 and the 200. It looks like it's starting to become more and more negative as it gets closer and closer to the 50, closer to the 200 day. If this dips below here, then we'll start to see um, the negative uh, momentum continue to build as we continue to trade lower. That's the longer term outlook of this particular tool. And if we got a weekly chart, we already have the major moving average is starting to cross. 
So we have the 20 day, it's already crossed below the 200 day on a weekly chart. And it looks like the 50 day is ready to do the same. So that is all negative for the overall market. So this is pretty much the, um, the breadth of the market, you can say. So we were at 97% um, of stocks trading above the 200 to moving average uh, body a little bit over a year ago. Now, we are just about 51%, almost back to 50% again. So that is not a positive sound for the market. It's a negative sound for the market. Now, let me show you guys something else. Before I go any further, so you guys are tools that I like to also track that also shows you market breadth. One that I have pinned to the front of my Twitter page. And it is the Wall Street Journal. And it's a market tracking tool which tracks the, the um, number of companies trading. Um, uh, the number of um, new highs and new lows we have had. So here is a look at the NASDAQ for, for today. And right now we show 56, and this is the, um, sorry, this is the New York Stock Exchange. So today New York Stock Exchange shows 56 new highs today, which is not bad. But if we scroll down, we show 150 new lows. So the um, new lows are still outpacing the new highs. Now let's switch to the NASDAQ lookout and we show NASDAQ this week show so far show 40 new highs. And let's see how many new lows did it show. 242 new lows. So that is all still negative for our overall market. So right for this market is still showing a lot of negativity. So we had to point that out. All right, now let's go back here. Let's look at each one of these individual indexes. We'll take a look at the S&P first. And let's switch back to a daily chart of S&P. And I like to point this out, so here we go. Here is, look at the middle here, the middle section. This is my wins percentage, see how we got to over, overbought. And we're starting to turn back down. Look at so full stochastic like it's starting to turn back down. RSI on the bottom like it's starting to turn back down. Look what price actually made it up to. Right up to that 50-day moving average, which proved to be some major resistance, and we are starting to turn back down on the daily chart. So as we turn back down, this is what I'm looking for, and this is what I believe we could be seeing, is a retest of this here level of support. 40, 40, 4222 of the S&P. So there's a long way down. If price action, fall, I mean, yeah, price action falls below this 200 day, which is this red line, we could be running down to test that 4222. And if we break further, look out below because we there could be a long way down. Take a look at the Dow Jones. Same type of scenario, Dow Jones, after being oversold, I mean, yeah, oversold, had a nice little rally over the past uh, week, or, week or so. Back up to the 50 day, and it looks like we are starting to see some red and starting to reverse. Um, this test level first will be the, fit, the 200 day moving average, which is this red line here. Then if we um, price action doesn't hold there, then I would expect it to come back down to test. This 3350 level, as you see right down here, 33,150 on the Dow Jones. I look for that level to be tested. And on an infamous NASDAQ, NASDAQ even looks a little bit more dire. NASDAQ rally only, it made it up to this 200 day movement average. Look at that on a daily, and it got rejected. It started to really fall down from that point. It looks like we are already heading back down towards to test this 13.094 on the NASDAQ composite. So, and last but not least, the Russell. And the Russell, again, it rally only up to its 20 day moving average on a daily and it's starting to reverse. So like the Russell wants to reverse and test this 19.01 level. So I think over the next couple of days, we could see much more pressure to the downside uh, with these major markets. Now let's look at one more indicator, indication of what we can expect by looking at the VIX. 
Look at the VIX. So I told you guys last week, um, the VIX made up to 38.94 and we were pulled back somewhere between 20 to 24, uh, maybe down to the 200, the 50 day or 200 day, test those levels before we reverse, right down to the T, just made it down to the 50 day moving average and made it just below that just a bit. It's like you've got to bounce off the 200 day. It's like the VIX is starting to head back higher. So all that said, looks like the next down leg in the market is probably underway. So be careful, all you long-term bulls, and um, protect your profits. And, and if you um, know how to short or put puts against this overall market or something that you're tracking that seems to be running in reverse, you may want to add those protections here now and um, make gains while the market is going in reverse. All right, wanted to share that real quick and I will uh, also be doing a weekend overall market review coming up here in a couple of days. All right, folks, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week.